Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC and welcome to Saturday Knife Live. Well, it's definitely a little bit a different look than it was last Saturday. Here we are back home in the SKL studio, we'll call it for now, but at least I don't look like I was I was getting interrogated for the location of like the secret military base or anything like that. That was a little bit different last week, but hey, we did what we could. So, man, I, I just got to tell you, I, I just have to say thank you for all of you that were in the chat early. I super, super appreciate it. Very, very cool of all of you. Greatly. It, it, it's awesome to see you guys here early. But let's see. We got RJ. We got KJ. We got Ethan. We got Peter. We got Jason. Rick is in the house. Who else is here? I know there's a bunch of you. Aberdeen Blades, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Talbert. Hello, Talbert. How are you tonight? Let's see. Mark's here. Hello, Mark. Very good to see you. KC, you're awake. Yay! <laughs> very, very good. It's good to see you, man. Oh, let's see. Who else is here? Top Dog is here. Last Ranger is here. I, I know I saw Z-Man. Hey, Paper Tiger's here. Eggs, right on. Zach, hello. The Magic Moderator is here. Awesome. Very cool. Well, now I don't have to worry about anything. Hey, Jason, Nebu Cloud, how you doing, my friend? Okay, did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. No, there's Paul. There's Paul. How you doing, Paul? And James. Hello. I'm doing well, James. I hope you are, too. Yep, like I said, back home. Back where we should be. Katie's here. Yay. Tim. Hello. Good evening to you as well. I don't know why I just sounded like I was trying to talk like I was in a dungeon or something. That was weird. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Richard C. What's up? Brian. Hello. Welcome. Everybody's jumping in. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yeah, I don't know if you guys had the pleasure of watching last week, but it was a little different. Hey, Rusty, what's going on? Mike Schultz, how you doing? Welcome. Glad to have you. But yeah, it was a, it was a little different setup. I had to, you know, improvise a little bit, but hey, it worked out. It was good. Glad to Glad that you could all be there. It was super, super distracting to watch myself while I was doing it, though, because I was trying to read the comments and watch the comments, and I kept my seeing myself. It was like, oh, there's something moving over there. Oh, it's me. Duh. So, yeah. <laughs> From the Knifer's studio. Hello, Marcus. Marcos. Excuse me. How are you? <laughs> Ethan. Ethan Thomas is here. Hello. Welcome. Ah, the lovely and wonderful Christine. Thank you so much for being here. But yeah, yeah, that was, I, I did. The whole time I felt like I was kind of being interrogated. So I know somebody mentioned that and that's pretty much how it felt. <laughs> so it's all good though. All good. We are back. We are here. We got the light. We got the light. We got the stand. We got the glass. Just feel like I'm back in my normal habitat, so to speak. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic Weekend so far. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Zach. Jeremy Lawler, what's up? Glad to see you. Um, yes, it is Memorial Day weekend. I know a couple of people have mentioned it already. So, yes, it is a, a time of remembrance for those who have served and are no longer with us. And trust me, I will be doing plenty of that on Monday as well. But... Well, oh, thank you very much, Zach. I see all the red stars in the chat, but Zach threw up the link to Big Red's Brigade. Thank you very much, my friend. That's how you can support the channel. You get all the cool emojis. You get the loyalty badges. Uh, early content, viewers-only content, uh, knife, uh, discount off knife sales, all that good stuff. So um, I just greatly appreciate all of you that do support and... And watch the videos and everything like that. I just greatly appreciate it. Corbin, what's up? Oh, what happened last week? Oh, it was just my setup. My setup was completely different because I was in Nebraska. And I did face forward. The only light I had was this old uh, 
like desk lamp that it looked like I was being interrogated. So, hey, Scott, welcome. How you doing? Stuff we do. Good morning. Oh, Zach. Zach, thank you very much. Let's give Zach some love. He's starting it off. Thank you so much, my friend. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, let's just jump into this and let's get our pocket checks out of the way real quick so we can see what everybody was carrying today. I'll show you what I was carrying. I went with an old faithful today. It usually is up here on the table, but I decided to carry it tonight, so or today. So, what did everybody carry? Yes, hashtag DSKFS. That is exactly right, Paper Tiger. OG Blue Bug Out, right on, Z-Man. I'll give you a hint. I had a bug out, too, so. Kubi KB245. Oh, Zach went to the Trailblazer game, so he didn't carry anything. I see. Sage 5 Lightweight. Hello, William. Welcome. Best Tech Sledgehammer. There you go. Kaiser Slicer. Spider Coast Smock for Corbin. Best Tech Exploit for Peter. Oh, Hoback Husky for KJ. Gerber Prybrid Pri for Stuart. Oh, I got a package from Stuart I'm going to be opening today. Glad to see you, my friend. Hodeca for Last Ranger. Beyond EDC for Talbert. We might see one of those tonight, too. I have a package from SMKW to open up. But sh there should be one in there. My Rough Rider Copperhead. There you go, RJ. Old Red. There you go. Glow Zombie Endura 4 for Jeremy. Very nice. Cold Seal 8010 and a Civivi Riffle for Rusty. I think I might have something to say about a Civivi Riffle here pretty soon. Ethan, thank you so much, man. Exactly. All gave some. Some definitely gave all. Right on. That is a tr very true statement. Kaiser Vanguard for James. Oh, you got it right on. Very cool. You got He got his 10 for 10K. Thank you very much, Eggs. Uh, QSP Gannett. Red Upsweat Bow Trapper. And an Olight Warrior Mini for Jason. Very nice. Gordon, hello. A bird Crow. Nice. Sack Explorer and a Hedgehog. Very cool. Mike's got the F5.5. Very nice. Off grid Viper and a Mazarin Plow from Mark. Kershaw C Carbon Fiber D2 Camshaft. Oh, nice. Justin, what's up, buddy? How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Nitro V Perpetua for Rick. Very nice. Full size grip for Paper Tiger. Paul's got the Aegis from Saw. Nice. Aegis, I guess. Don had the Stormtrooper Mini Bug Out. Right on. Oh. It jumped. Oh, thank you, Jason. Thank you so much. You are awesome. You guys are fantastic. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Did I get it? Okay, I got it. Oh, let's see. It jumped on me. Oh, Napster Ninja had the Benefit 940 2. Oh, nice. On the Osborne wagon. That's not a bad wagon to be on. Sog Salute. Yeah, that's appropriate. Zombie Endura. <laughs> that's, KJ wants a Zombie Endura. <laughs> Kershaw Norad for Scott. Knives Collector 41. What's up? Welcome. No, Gordon. Unfortunately, I am not going to Blade Show. I think there's a few people in here that might be. Full Size Adamus and an Orange and a Black... Orange and Black Shaman. Very nice. I think Justin is going to Blade Show. Kershaw Cryo for Brian. Very good. Hinder XM18 3.5. Spanto. Oh, nice, Ethan. Hoback Husky for Knives Collector 41. F5.5 for Knife Dude, too. Nice. I might have already said that. <laughs> it keeps jumping around on me. Oh, doo -doo -doo. oh, did I catch up? Did I get caught up? I think I did. I think I'm caught up. Sweet. Well, good. It's glad for everybody. Yes, I will show you what I was carrying today. Yes, this guy got some pocket time today. I had to make sure 
that it sits up here on the table all by its lonesome so often that I had to put it in the pocket and carry it today. So that is the Big Red EDC bug out. So, yep, that's the one for me. So, oh, let's see. Somebody just, oh, hey, what's up, Grateful? Mr. John, how you doing? Yes, are you doing better, Tim? That is very good. Glad to hear that. Hashtag Big Red EDC bug out. Yes, indeed. So that is good to hear, Tim. I'm glad to, glad to hear that you're doing better. Most definitely. So let's see. Hey, we got a coin. We got a coin this week. I did. I had a very good trip, Mark. It, it was awesome. I got to do a lot of fishing. And yeah. Yeah, it, it was good. Good to see mom. Good to see the family. So yes, it was definitely a good trip. Check this out, though. We got a new coin. It's the Cult of John. This is a really cool coin. And I actually got this um, from Didier. Our good friend Didier was the one that sent this to me. But it's actually uh, from John from... Oh, it's not a knife. It's a bench made. He actually had these made for his 55th birthday. And these, that's, that's such a great idea. And I don't know if you can read on there, but it says celebrating 55 years of surviving the game of life. And then it's got his birth date and the date. And uh, it's not a knife.com. Cult of John. Hashtag Team Jelly Belly. It's just a cool coin. Now, I'm not 100% sure of the Team Jelly Belly. I know that's a thing that John has going. But, yeah, it, I think that's just really cool. Th that's an awesome way to celebrate your birthday. And I believe it is numbered. Oh, yeah, it is. And I don't know if it's going to focus on that. No. Well, yeah, it might if I can get it out of the glare. But it's coin number five, so that's kind of cool. Oh, come on. Come back. Yeah, I had it way too close. So, yeah, that's a, that's a sweet coin. So I'm very, very... That's cool. I, I'm glad. I'm thankful, very thankful that Didier sent that to me. Plus, he sent all this. Uh, he sent me a whole bunch of, they have a swag pack. So he sent me a whole bunch of swag. I, I got to find out. I guess John really likes Jelly Bellies. And sometimes he puts them in the box. So, <laughs> but a lot of cool swag. That's just really neat. So I think that coin is just, that's a cool idea. So. Hey, Todd, what's up? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much. So, so, but, and of course, like I said, I, I was naked last week. I didn't have my light and I didn't have the official Saturday, oops, Saturday Knife Live mug from our good friends at Southern Edge Knife Works filled with, of course, cherry limeade. You know it. So thanks again, as always, to Southern Edge Knife Works. Just remember, guys, when you're on southernedgeknifeworks.com, use the code Big Red, save 15% off your order or $5 flat rate shipping. And make sure if you can't find a knife, you call them and ask them or email them and ask them because they are. Hey, Tobias, good to see you, man. Good to have you. But yeah. The good folks at Southern Edge Knife Works, they'll really go, they'll go out of their way to find a knife for you. So just remember that. Oh, thirsty tonight. So yeah, tonight we've got a lot of unboxings. Well, not a lot, but a couple. We'll say a couple. So I got a package here from Stuart. Now I know. Hey, Rodney, what's up? Glad to see you, man. So, Stuart sent me a package. I didn't know Stuart was sending me a package, but he sent me a package. So, since he's here, I... Oh, you were just out here. Oh, really? Oh, wow, Tobias, right on. Very cool. Were you in Washington or were you just uh, like California or... I'm I'm still getting I'm kind of getting my uh, 
bearings back too. It doesn't take too long though. I'm pretty good. But Stuart, let's see. Stuart sent me a package. Oh, you were in Tacoma? Oh man. Doggone. Of course I wasn't here when you were in Tacoma. Doggone it. That's crazy. I'll be darned. Oh, we got a note. That's crazy. Oh, I'm just kind of reading the note here real quick, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Oh, sweet. Well, very good. Well, let's see what we have here. Yes. Yes, maybe next time, Tobias. Dog, don't it? All the way out here, and I didn't even get to say hi. Hey, D2, what's up? Glad to have you. Oh, nice. Very cool. Let's see. We have... Oh, it's a JT Adams clasp knife. Okay. I have seen these. Very, oh, oh yeah. I love that blade. I love that blade. And oh my goodness. Oh wow, that is a wicked can opener. Goodness gracious. You could probably open a number 10 can of coffee with that. You guys know what I mean by a number 10 can of coffee? Very cool. This is a J. Adams Limited class knife. It says it's Afghan War Surplus. Got this NATO stock number and everything. It's a British Army in 2016. And it says it's got an arrow stamp on it. Let's see. Oh, I bet it was packed in Cosmoline. That's pretty cool. Now, he said the reason he sent this is because it's an international friendly folder. Which, that's cool. I like that. Yes, and you are right. You are right, to, uh, Stuart, that sometimes uh, when these giveaways and stuff, we do kind of get restrictive because of all the laws and everything else. It's really shiny. My light's reflecting off of it. But that is very cool. Hey, Topher, what's up, buddy? Just got home from workout? Okay, cool. Yeah, they are really... It's solid, man. It feels solid. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can... Come on, focus on it. It says oil the joints. That's cool. My joints need to be oiled every once in a while. Yeah. Hitting that 50 mark this year, so. Very cool. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome, Stuart. Okay, let's see. I read what the other one was, so let's see what it is. Oh, got them nice and packaged here. Very nice. Oh, cool. And he sent an Opinel. Cool. Number eight. I like the number eight. I like Opinels. Oh, cool. He's got the blade patinaed. Very cool. Let's see what he says here. He reprofiled the blade a little bit. He put in a sharpening choil. Chemical antique finish. It will kill. <laughs> oh, it will kill. Tomatoes and cucumbers, anyway. That's funny. <laughs> Very cool. So you have a knife here that Stuart kind of, well, he modified it, put his own touches on it. Very, very cool. Uh-oh. 
John, John's already getting KC. <laughs> these are awesome, Stuart. Thank you very much for sending these. Yes, they are very international friendly. Very true. And yes, sadly, that does happen sometimes. That our good friends, international, do kind of... Uh, Talbert, Zach is throwing links up there for you to look at if you want to find one. So, Zach threw them up there. The link for the Oppenel is still right there. And then, John needs time out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zach. Thank you for doing that. Cucumber and tomato salad. I like me a good cucumber and tomato salad. So, yeah. Very cool. Oh, Rodney and Justin are talking about Blade Show. So, we've lost them. <laughs> no, that's awesome. It's awesome that you guys are going to get to go. I know KC is going. Uh, John, are you going? Yes, that is very true, Tobias. Stuart is absolutely fantastic. Um, he has been extremely gracious to the channel and sent in a lot of stuff, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it for sure. Oh, let's see. Somebody just jumped in. Where did I say? Hey, Matt, how you doing? Matt Strader is here. You're blushing now? Well, good. You should be blushing because you are. You're very, very generous, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Ah, there's Didier. We were just talking. As you can see, the, the Cult of John coin is up there. We were just talking about that and how you sent that in. Greatly appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. So thank you to Didier. Thank you to Stuart. We have some international friendly knives. Might have, well, we'll see what we're doing in the giveaway. Whoa, what was that? I have never heard that. Oh, okay. I have this new phone, guys, and I'm hearing noises I've never heard before. Oh, KC, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's KC some love. Thank you very much, man. I greatly appreciate that. We're having a barbecue tomorrow. We're having some friends over tomorrow. Uh, let's see. My son and his girlfriend are coming. Uh, we're having some friends over tomorrow. We're doing it on Sunday because we leave Memorial Day for Memorial Day. You know what I mean? To get my get my meaning. So we're doing our get together tomorrow. So. Oh, you got to go, Talbert. All right, buddy. See you later. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget, guys, Talbert, uh, if you're looking for leather goods, make sure to hit him up on Facebook. And he does have a channel here. It's just Talbert Tipton, his name right there. If you click on his name, I bet it'll take you to his channel. Check out what he's making. He just made some EDC trays that are, that are really cool. So make sure to check up on that. But thank you for being here, Talbert. Oh, Sunday coffee. Yes. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Always appreciate it. And that's the thing. And I remember when, when well, now I'm going to sound really old. I just was about to sound really, really old because I am really, really old. <laughs> but I was going to say, man, I remember when free refills on, you pay 50 cents and you could drink six pots of coffee if you wanted to, but yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, Peter. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Oh, there you go. Zach dropped Talbert's link right there. Very cool. Always appreciate it. And before I, I'm just going to say it right now, guys, because I always wait to the end. But hey, don't forget, Zach's live tomorrow, noon Pacific time. Don't forget, be there or be square. I'll be there. Helping him out. So just remember, don't forget that. Hey, Sue, what is up? Very cool. Justin, are you going live tomorrow? We'll find out who all's going live tomorrow. So um, I will be there. We're not doing our, our thing until tomorrow afternoon. So, well, yeah, you probably could. You could probably find that diner, Andrew. Very true. Very true. 
So, Peter and Christine, are you guys going live tomorrow? Is Justin going live tomorrow? I'll get ready to open my new package while we wait. Oh, Tobias got a busy weekend tomorrow. All right. Now, this one. Oh, we got a box here from Blade Runner System. We got a package, I guess. It's not a box. Holy criminy. Would you guys look at look at this what, what in the world? Would you look at that? This is the note that came with the stuff that Blade Runner Systems sent. I think it had a rough trip. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. That was crazy. So doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. Oh, let's see. Okay. Sorry, I'm just checking out the note real quick. Uh, oh, look, swag. Sweet. We well, you know what? We got swag. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw this swag into the giveaway tonight. How's that sound? That sounds like a good idea. Sure. I'll do that. We'll just throw that right into the giveaway. Cool. Oh. <laughs> that, well, James, you might not be too far off with that. Hashtag swag alert. Yes. Oh, cool. They sent this little Revo light. This is the second time they sent us some stuff. I think they sent us one of these before. So very cool, a little Revo light. I will say we already have a flashlight planned for tonight, so I'm gonna save this one for another night. But, okay, there you go. Peter and Christine will be live on their channel at 2 p.m. So, um, might have stuff going on. Might have a house full by then, Peter. We'll see, but I'll see what I can do. But very cool. They send us this little light. Awesome. Thank you very much for doing that. And they sent us... Oh. Oh, we got two. Oh, nice. What do we have here? We have... We have a Ness in Dark Earth. Stonewash Blade. And then we have a Berserk in G10 gray with a stone wash blade. Okay, cool, let's check them out. Right on. 2 p.m. Pacific time. Yes, I'm pretty sure that is the case, KJ. Thank you very much, Zach. All right. There it is. Gotta be smarter than the box. <laughs> right. Oh, cool. Dude, that's a cool sticker. I like that R. So this is the Ness, I believe. Now, I know uh, KC had some of these. Oh, I like that blade. I really like that blade. Oh, man. Full flat. Wow. Now, I thought the handle looked a little odd. I have to be... I have to be completely honest. But that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. It did. It just looks kind of odd. But once you get it in hand, doggone. I'm liking that. I do like, I do love the blade. Uh, oh, man. That's nice. Nice stonewashed finish on it. Very cool. You got the carbon fiber one right on. Yeah, it, it's got a different look to it. I, I have to admit. Hey, Tristan, what's up? A peanut butter knife. Well, yeah, you could spread some peanut butter with this thing. Hey, Mark, what's up, man? It does. It looks odd. I, I, I totally agree with you. The first time I saw it, when uh, it, it did. But I tell you what, man, it fits the hand. It fits my hand really nice. Yeah, I guess you could call that. It is kind of a leafed drop point spear, you know, 
sure. I like it. I like it a lot. Got some nice belly to it. Oh, man. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Deep carry pocket clip. Recessed pocket clip screws. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Peanut butter or spackle. <laughs> yes, it is a Revo. It is the Revo Ness. That is what we're looking at. The Revo Ness. Nesmuk. Is that the correct term for the blade shape? I know I've heard that name before. Top dog. I have one free spinning pivot. Really? Oh, well, I don't know. I haven't got that deep into it yet. Hmm. Okay. Action is. Oh, got to get it past the detent. Oh. Flips out. Okay. It doesn't rock it out there. But you give it a good flip and it comes out. Oh, got to get it past the detent ball, though. Well, doggone. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, C. Lemansky, what's up? Doggone. I'm digging that. I am digging the Ness. Like I said, when I saw it, when KC was showing it, I, I was like, hmm, it just looks odd. But it feels really good. It feels really good in hand. Now, the next one we got here is the Berserk. So that'll be interesting. Let's see. I think, was that the other one you had, Casey? Was it the Berserk? Berserk? Hey, Shoe Monster, what's up? Yeah, it, it looks odd. It really does. The handle looks odd, but it feels pretty darn good in hand, I have to say. Now we got, it is, okay. The Berserk was the other one. Okay. So here's the Berserk. It's gray. What is it, what'd they call it? G10 gray. Okay. Stonewashed finish. Pocket clip is reversible. Again. Pocket clip screws. Recessed. Very nice. Deep carry clip. Oh, now I'm going to make a fool out of myself with this one, aren't I? Oh, I didn't. Oh, sweet. Wow, that's a serious frame lock. Okay. Ah, I got it. Now, now I'm trying to do it in front of the camera and can't. Whatever. <laughs> can I thumb flip it? Yes, I can. Okay. I can thumb flip it, so very good. That is a very interesting blade shape. Wow. <laughs> wow. It does look like it's a true, true compound ground blade. Wow, black stone wash finish. The jimping is pretty good. Feels okay in hand. I'm definitely going to have to get this a little bit. That one, the nest felt great right off the bat. This one, I'm going to have to adjust to it a little bit, I think. Oh, doggone it. Nebu Cloud, Jason, thank you. I missed that. Sorry about that. I was intrigued by this knife. I apologize. Thank you so much, man. That was greatly appreciated. But this is the Revo Berserk. Huh. That is, that's wild. That is a wild looking blade. What do you guys think? You guys dig that? Corbin likes it. Cool. That's a very, very interesting blade. Yeah, <laughs> that is very true, Peter. It just looks like they couldn't stop drawing lines. Yeah, because you've got a swedge here. you got a grind here that comes up. And then you've got this grind. I see what you mean. And does it say what the steel is? Uh, do, 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 do. Let me re check the note here real quick. Um, does it say? All right, Casey, I need your help. What's the blade steel on this? Hey, Jeremy, what's up, bud? It definitely cyber looking. 
What is the blade steel? It doesn't say. And I guess I, I don't remember what you said the nest was. Does the nest say? Are these D2? The blue Revo is way cool. Right on. Is it, is it 9CR on both of these? The Ness is D2, but this one's 9CR. Oh, okay. Okay. Very interesting. I'll definitely have to look into this more, but wow. That's an awful deep spot for the pocket clip. I'm sure it has to be like that for the clip, but ah, I don't know about that. I'm not crazy about that. Jesse, what is up? Coming in hot, brother Mahalo. Thank you so much. Good to have you, man. Good to see you. Is it just you or is it you and the family again? <laughs> Good to have you, man. Glad you're here. This is, yeah, this one I'll definitely have to use a little bit more and adjust to it. But... It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. It's different. The action, man, it drops. Oh, come on. Holy smokes, would you look at here. It's Artisan Cutlery. What's up, buddy? Hello, hello. I got to work on my Spidey flicking. Um, there it went. Can't do it in front of the camera. What is up? Russell, what's happening, man? Mr. Mr. Gear Bear, Hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Beefer's here, too. Sweet. There we did it. I did it in front of the camera for once. Oh, once. Oh, come on. Ah, there it is. There it is. Whew. All right. Might have to stick to thumb flick in this one. <laughs> Good to have you, Russell. Good to have you. Very interesting. So a couple more knives from Revo. Cool. We will definitely check them out. Give our give our thoughts and opinions on them. This is just the boxes are fine. Everything else is fine, but man, with that poor letter, that poor letter has just been through the mill. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes. That gets a that that gets a we'll have to throw some holy smokes up there for that. That definitely gets some holy smokes. That poor letter's been through it all. Gee, many Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a frame lock. It is. It's a, it's a, well, yes, it's a steel frame lock. That is what it is. Yes, indeed. Oh, there I did it. I did it. Whew. All right. All right. I need to work on that a little bit more, but. So, well, what's everybody's plans for this Memorial Day weekend? What's everybody doing? Let's talk about that real quick. I got another, I got one more package. DCS, what's up, buddy? Hello. Welcome. What's everybody got going on this weekend? Like I told you, we're having our little get together tomorrow. One minute's working. Hey, how you doing, bud? Let's see. Oh, you out, James? All right, man. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Family time. Sounds good. Sounds good. As little as possible. That sounds good, too. Ah, yeah, Didier. Of course. Back to work. Family time. Cookout. Day off. Yep. Yep. Lots of works. <laughs> it seems like that's all you do. Right on. Rusty's got some family time. That's good. Hey, Gino, what is up, buddy? Yeah, getting ready for Blade. Very cool, Carlos. Nice. I know you guys will have a I know you guys will have some fun. Oh, long camping trip next weekend. That sounds good. Awesome. Rattlesnake beans. I have not heard of rattlesnake beans. That is very interesting. That is that may re require a little bit more uh, 
explanation. <laughs> Topher is working. Last Ranger is hanging out, hanging out with the cats, right? You're not alone. You got the cats. Oh, let's see. No big plans, just relaxing. That's good, Andrew. That's always good. Hanging out with the family, right on. Going to the lake, wakeboarding. Nice. Yeah, yeah, if the water's warm enough, right on. Family time, yes. Remember, stay, yep, no November 11th. Very good, Stuart. Your internet. Is your internet being funky? Working right on, Jeremy. Ah, very good, Tiger. Stopping by Arlington Cemetery. That is that is truly a Memorial Day event, for sure. <laughs> Figuring out how far. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that, Tim. I hope things do improve very, very quickly for you. Almost live on Monday? Oh, cool. Nice. You're on call this weekend. All right. Very cool. Ooh, detail on the wife's Jeep. Oh, I shouldn't say that too loud. I'll be out cleaning Nelly's Subaru. Barbecue. All right. Hey, Winchester is in the house. Nice. Ethan might be barbecuing. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, Tim. I bet. They had the life they had to life flight you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I could about imagine a second heart attack. Hey Dominic, going camping. Very cool. Nice. Very cool. Sounds like everybody catching up on the tubes. <laughs> right on. Well, cool. Sounds like we get some good uh good plans for this weekend. Excellent. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Flank steak on the barbecue. A little. Oh, dude. Flank steak makes the best carne asada, doesn't it? Because if it does, I'll be over, Carlos. I love some carne asada. No, actually, it's the same one. It's the same one, Gino. It's not different. Maybe it's just working correctly for once. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Carne. I tell you what, though, uh, Carlos, one thing that did surprise me, a guy from work, he doesn't work with us anymore, and this isn't why he doesn't work for us anymore, but he surprised us with taco. Tacos one night. He brought in a bunch of stuff, and yeah, maybe it did need a week off. It just needed to rest. That might be it. Um... Uh, I just plugged it in. That's all I did. I didn't do anything different. <laughs> it was just tired. It needed a break. But uh, he made tongue tacos. Now, I have never really wanted to eat tongue because it's tongue and, you know, it's a mental thing. I tell you what, that stuff tasted like the best roast beef I'd ever had in my life. Oh, my goodness, it was good. Oh, it was good. Oh, man. Now, he said it's quite a process to go from the tongue, you know, how you buy it. Hey, Cliff, what's up? You know, he said he, you got to boil it for like a long time. I don't remember. To get the, obviously, the outer membrane off. But once that's gone, oh, that stuff was so good. Oh, my God, it was good. Oh, yeah, it's not it's not cheap, Gary. Those rides will get you. Yeah, that's what he said. You had to boil it for a really long time. So I'm like, okay. Oh, man, but once... Now, that, that process was already done. You know, we didn't have to go through that. But he had, hey, Pioneer, what's up? Glad to have you. But he brought in, oh, it was good. It was good. 
That's all I can say. It was good. There you go. Zach just threw up a recipe for you. Y'all go out, buy a big tongue, and cook that sucker up. Mm. <laughs> that's what I always said too, Marcos. That was the exactly what I said too. I don't want to eat anything that's going to taste me back. But yeah, yeah. Um, it was good. That's all I can say. Mm. It was really, really good. All right, let's see. What else? Well, I have another package here. I, I have a package from SMKW. It should be our May, May Knives through my affiliation with SMKW. So that's what we should be seeing. So we're going to open it up and we're going to check it out. Hey, I like knives. How you doing? Lingua is Spanish for tongue. Yes, it is. Yes, most definitely. Prairie oysters? Is that the same thing as Rocky Mountain oysters? I'm pretty sure it is. I've never eaten those either. Never eaten those either. Hey, Lancelot, what's up? Glad to have you. I'll eat about anything but chitlins and pickled pig's feet. <laughs> I ate pickled pig's feet as a kid. I could No, not anymore. It's just nasty. They're nasty. Oh, we don't need the sniffy paper yet. Yeah, I am too, Tobias. I am definitely waiting for those last two as well. No Rocky Mountain oysters? <laughs> All right, we got a sticker. Oh, look who we got. We got Sasquatch. Let's see. All right, take a vote. Should I put Sasquatch in the swag bag tonight? What do you think? Yes or no on the Squatch? While you're, while you're deciding... Just remember, guys, I do have an affiliate link with SMKW. Whenever you shop at SMKW, I do get a 5% commission, which I do turn right around and put right back into knives. I'm getting ready to show you them to get, to basically review and give away on the channel. Well, all I'm seeing is a whole bunch of yeses. So, all right, Sasquatch, he's in the pile. Sasquatch is in the pile. He's also in the building, but he's in the pile. So, let's see what we have. Paperwork out of the way. Wow, they wrapped these up good. All right. Haggis. No, I've never tried haggis. I've been in Scotland, and I just, I wouldn't, I couldn't try haggis. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Full Tang Clan. Yes, those are awesome stickers. I love the Full Tang Clan sticker. Oh, I got a few of those. I have a few of those Winchester. They go in the they go in the swag bags every once in a while. I switch it off between those and the blue ones. I have some. <laughs> Well, that's a way to come in, Triple E. <laughs> How you doing, man? I did, too. I love the G.I. Joe sticker. That was one of my favorites. But let's see. This is... Oh, this... Doggone it. Which one is it? This is the Beyond EDC. It's not the Herrick. It's the... And, of course, I can't remember which one it is. Which one is it? Doggone it. It is the... Arc, arch, the Beyond EDC arch. G10, D2, yep. Is that, that's, oh, it's a sticker. Okay, I was gonna say, I hope that's not in the, 
Yeah, that's a sticker. I was like, that better not be in the G10. It's not. It's a sticker. Oh, snacks out pretty good. Talbert was saying he was carrying a Beyond EDC. He didn't say which one, though. Flips out pretty good. Demco and Beyond EDC might be a thing? Really? Uh-oh. What is it? Thank you very much for the link, Zach. All right, Gary. What's your what's your nickname for your hand? I'm supposed to ask you. Hmm. Beyond EDC and Demco. Really? That is very interesting. What nickname? I don't know. Winchester just told me to ask you. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Very interesting. This pocket clip, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. It stands up really tall. I don't know about that. Oh God. Okay, I got you. We'll just let. It. I don't know. Is that what it is? That's a very interesting, very interesting nickname for sure. I'm not going to say it out loud because, well, <laughs> May's already been a rough month <laughs> on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> Who knows what might happen? I might implode. <laughs> but this is very I like the profile of the knife. It's kind of, well, it is. Yeah, it is. The handle is profiled. It it feels kind of square. Yeah, I think me and this pocket clip are going to do a little arguing. I don't know. I like the blade. I like the finish on the blade. The action is, and it, man, it breaks. That detent's really nice. Once it breaks, it's coming open. Yeah, I do like the profile of it, but I do think I'm going to argue with that pocket clip a little bit. Yeah, I think it's just been a, I think it's been a thing, one minute. I think it's been uh, really weird. Oh, KC, we're losing you. All right, man. Thank you for hanging out with us as long as you did, man. I know it's late over there. Really appreciate it, man. Hope you have a really good rest of your weekend. Oh, you got a lot of them? I didn't get a lot of the uh, full tang ones. That's cool, though. I'm glad you got a bunch of them. I think I had, like, two. Asher Spyro? Really? You think? Night, Casey. Everybody saying good night. Of course, John has to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time with that one. Definitely going to have to spend a little bit more time with that one. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to, we're probably going to argue a little bit. Hashtag alt. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag all tang. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zach. There's a little bit more love for Zach. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it as always. Um, y'all are getting some vibes from that one. Oh, now we've got a concept knife. Ooh. There we go. You see that? There you go. We got the concept helix. Hashtag Zach attack. That's what we got. Yes, indeed. We're gonna check this one out. Very nice packaging as always. Got the nice little stuff. Yes, we got the stuff. We got the paperwork. We got the cleaning cloth. Very good, very good. Always nice. 
I will say Concept has some, they, 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 they do it up with their packaging. They do it right. Uh, it's good. I've seen this guy around and I really wanted to check it out. Concept has got some really good designs. <laughs> Those are some interesting phrases for the day. That's for sure. Woo. Oh, Zach, look out. That is blue. Look at that. Dog gone. That is definitely blue. Wow. Is that Zach blue? Look, it looks like we got some blue. We got some, well, that's metal. But we got some kind of dark gray on the metal there. That is, that is some wild jimping, too. Holy smokes. Would you look at that? Look at that jimping. There you go. Wow. That is serious. Um, that's going to be interesting when I get that in hand. It does resemble that, John. Oh, nice flip. Nice flip. Ah, got it. Mm, okay. It flips out nice. As you can see there, I mean, if you try, you can definitely fail it. It's got good leverage on the flipper tab, though. That is nice for that big blade. You got some nice leverage on it. That's a big old blade. There again, a nice stonewashed finish, though. Very nice. Very nice. Flip it like a man. Well, you know, if it... <laughs> Anyhow. Yes, you can definitely flip it. Definitely choke up on it. Oh, I might. Let's see. Normal grip. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It is. Well. Yeah, it is kind of. I guess the. It's a tanto that could be rounded off very easily. Because there's definitely a transition there. I know it's hard to see. There is a transition, but you could round that really easily. Flip it like a Polaroid picture. Jimping. Jimping's pretty good. Man, you can choke up on that sucker, too. Get a good grip. What's up, Brad? What? Hello, hello. Glad to see you. And it's blue. It is definitely blue. I do like the blade shape. The scales, yeah, I'm going to have to, we're going to work with them, talk about them. My big concern was all that jimping in the grip, but I don't feel it at all. So, I mean, there you go. If you're going to, well, I don't even feel it there either, really. So, I guess that's for the, the gas station. It does, it does kind of have that fixed blade appeal to it, doesn't it? Or look, I guess, is the more correct term. It does kind of look like a fixed blade. Action. Action on the fall is really nice. It does. It flips pretty nice, though. Who's a hippie? Who's a hippie? That's a, that's a cool looking knife though. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We'll have to definitely, I was really concerned. Hey, what's up, Chad? It was definitely, uh, th that was definitely a concern. It's not, well, it is a little sharp. I was really thinking that might get the grip, but it doesn't. You dig it, you think? <laughs> I need a little bit more time with it. I, I do. I definitely do. I need to check it out and use it and get a feel for it. The Ness, I like the Ness right off the bat. 
of all these that we saw tonight, uh, the Ness, I was, it looked, it looks odd, but it feels really good in hand. The rest of them, I'm going to, I'm going to definitely have to get, I'm going to have to form a more informed opinion, I guess I should say. You didn't like the detent? That has been my my thing with them as well. Is they flip fine. You can flip them, but the detents that on the ones I've seen have been light. That's all I can say. Lighter than I would like. Let's say that. Lighter than I would like. It's personal opinion, right? So. The Revo detent, which one? The Ness? The Ness is good. There it kind of went slow. Yeah, it breaks and goes. Yeah. It makes it all the way open. It's a little slow. Now this one, it's a little harder because, well, I suck at Spidey flicking. It's not going to shake out, that's for sure. So, it's not bad. The detent on the Beyond EDC is good. I like that detent. Yeah. It breaks and goes. Yep. So... You know, like I said, it's personal It's personal choice as far as the detent. So, oh, yours is super light? Really? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, you saw there, it doesn't rock it out, but it opens all the way. So, you know, when it breaks in, it, it might not. It might not. It, it might zip, zip up. It's brand new, right out of the box. So... We'll check it out. And just remember, guys, both of these for sure will be given away on the channel because, well, they're affiliation knives, and that's what all affiliation knives happen. Uh, I usually, anybody that sends me knives, like Revo, the Blade Runner system, sent these in. Those usually end up given away. So, and Stuart, I think he pretty much sent these to be given away to our international friends. So... Looks like we got a. Looks like we got a bunch of giveaway knives here, so that's something else. Be watching for this, guys. Beginning of the, maybe uh, no, probably the beginning of the week. Probably more like Tuesday, but I'm gonna be giving this one away. I'll just show you real quick. Uh, Civivi, they sent a bunch of knives to the Apex Pass Around group. And Donkey Dave, where's Donkey Dave? Hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Andrew. I, did a, I didn't do a poll this time. I just, well, I did kind of do a poll. Um, I asked, you know, I asked everybody if they thought, you know, one knife, or if I could get a couple of knives, should I get a couple of knives? And then the third option was, I really don't care because I'm getting a chance to win a free knife. And that one won by, hey. So I just went through and picked out a couple of knives that I wanted to check out. So, but this one will be given away for sure this coming week. Um, Civivi, all these knives, they sent out, a, like I said, they sent out a bunch of knives to the pass around group. And all of us that signed up to check out these knives, um, they said we could give them away. So there you go. This one's going to be given away this week on the channel. So I really like this knife. I, I, I do. I, I know what I have said about Damascus, but this dark Damascus and this uh, sandalwood, right? Sandalwood? Yeah. Yeah sandalwood handle i think it looks really good together so stay tuned for that this one will be given away this week so 
very, very cool of Savivi to allow this to give these do uh, giveaways on the channels for these. So very cool. Sandalwood. There's sandalwood, Tobias. I like I like the riffle a lot. I do like this knife. It's very easy to spidey flick, so it makes me look like I know what I'm doing and watch me fail it as soon as I say that, but no. And as a matter of fact, one of the guys I work with, one of the Navy guys, well, Chris, he's been here a few times on SKL. <laughs> he saw my review and went out and bought this exact knife, the sandalwood in Damascus. So obviously he really liked it. <laughs> so very cool. So keep your eyes open for that giveaway coming this week so okay where are we at oh we are over an hour cool well i think it's time to give some stuff away don't you oh rodney oh man hey have a good time at blade show rodney don't do anything i wouldn't do thank you very much my friend i greatly appreciate that you can't be giving away all your blade show funds though but I do appreciate it for sure. So have a good night, my friend. Have a great rest of your week and have a very good time at Blade Show. So I'm a little jealous. I am, but hey, it is what it is. I know you guys are going to have fun. That's the main thing. <laughs> Lou dozed off. What's up, Lou? What is up? Oh, you're just in time because we're going to give some stuff away. Oh, don't break. Don't break. That's a lot of weight on that thing. Holy smokes. All right. It's time. Blade Show 2021. Oh, I piled up all these boxes on my stuff. We're going to save this for later. This is going to be in a different giveaway. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Well, we know we're going to have some Blade Runner system swag. Yes. It is missing a sticker because, well, it stuck to the box. <laughs> so I'm sorry you're down a sticker, but you can have the rest of them. Blade Show is next weekend, Sue. Next weekend. Oh, Knife Dude's got a giveaway. Right on. Well, I better make sure everybody gets over there and gets in on it. Very cool. Oh, don't even worry about it, Tristan. It happens. Sticker thief? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, blame the box. The block, the box stole the sticker. Don't even sweat it, Tristan. All right. So we got some outdoor edge. We always got some sharper things. We always got some SMKW swag. Yes, you do have the Squatch. The Squatch is in there. Uh-oh. Which knife did Winchester say really shines? Ah. Gotcha. Then, of course, we have the Swag Bag. Oh, 250 subscribers? That'll be awesome, Jason. Very cool. Well, I hope you get there very quickly. I started prepping for my 5K quite a while ago, and it's taken a while. So <laughs> I hope it gets here soon, or I'm just going to start giving away the stuff that I bought for it. But swag, yes, as you can see, there's a picture of this dude in there. Yes, make sure you guys go check out Nebu Cloud. Help him get to 250. Yep, the hula sticker is there. Oh, all right. I will. Oh. Hula red. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, there you go. Okay, the better. Are you happy now? It's front and center. There you go. <laughs> What do we got? We got an I1R EOS. No, that's not that bad, Stuart. Come on. <laughs> yep, 
yes, we got a little Olight. We're always giving away, we give away a lot of Olights here because, well, they're just darn good little flashlights. Love them. So I bleat. Jeez, KJ. I want our EOS. Great little keychain light. What do we got here? 130 lumens out of this little thing. Man, how can you go wrong with that? 130 lumens. Well, that is true, Tobias. That is true. One minute. Yep, there's a link to one minute. Make sure you check out his channel as well. Yeah, I saw the I saw Justin's hooker pictures. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was very good. It was very quite interesting. <laughs> if you have not seen that, um, you really need to go watch their live from I think it was last week. It is impressive. Yeah, 130 lumens out of that little thing. Hashtag screenshots. Yep. Yep. Oh, trust me. Before I ever had that sticker made, I think it was I think it was eggs. I think it was David sending me pictures. I have screenshots. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> so yes, people are always willing to help. Yes. Did you do that too? <laughs> you took a lot of screenshots of that. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> Don't forget, they're probably going to be live tomorrow night, I think. They're usually live Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific. So keep your eyes open for that. Don't forget, Zach's going live tomorrow at noon Pacific, and Peter and Christine are going live at 2 p.m. Pacific. So... So you guys know, I recently did the, <laughs> you have video, oh man, oh, that's going to be good. So you guys know, I recently did another, um, there you go, Justin, they will be live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central, so there you go. Um, and by the way, Justin, again, thank you very much for uh, meeting up with me and checking out Omaha Blades, that was really cool. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I met up with Justin uh, when I flew into Omaha, and we went and checked out Omaha Blades. That was really cool. So thank you very much for doing that. So I recently did the Rough Rider video. Let's talk Rough Rider Volume 4. And a lot of people commented on how much they liked the way this knife looked. So... I'm going to give it away tonight. Any guesses as to which one it is? If you guys saw the Rough Rider video, take a quick guess as to which one you think I am giving away. Actually, there was two of them, but A, Form D. DDA says the Patriot. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a lot of different ones. That's good. That's good. I'm getting the Patriot. I'm getting the... Huh. All right. Well, you know what? I just changed my mind. I was going to give this one away. That's the one I was going to give away. A lot of people commented on this one. A lot of people commented on the Patriot, too. But, you know what? I'm going to let you pick which one you want. How's that? Does that sound cool? The winner gets to pick which one you want. Actually, no. No. No, no. The winner gets to pick two of them that they want. What do you think? I'll let you pick two. So the winner, you get the swag, you get the flashlight, and you can pick any two of these Rough Riders. So 
Yeah, I like that idea. That's a good idea. Hello, Leland. What's the far right? That's the working man, pocket clip one. Oh, I'll give you a quick look at it. There you go. That's the one it is. It's the working man pocket clip. It's a little half hawk. Nice little sheep's foot blade on it. I really like that blade. Yeah, no problem. Of course. So there you go. You can pick any two of the ones you want. So let's do this. Well, it really surprised me, you know, because in the video, there was a lot of the, the Denim Micarta and the Patriot were the two that really got the most. And I was going to give away the Denim Micarta because I think that one got like the most attention. But you guys were guessing the rest of them. So you know what? You can pick which two you want. I think that's a good idea. So there you go. So let's see how many people do we got? As always, guys. You'll be, we'll be playing the numbers game. You're going to make one guess, one guess only. Um, let's see. What's, what range should I use? Let's do, I haven't used this range in a while. So we're going to use this range. And what's the number? What's the number? Let's do... Let's do this. There's the number. All right, so we got our range. We got our number. Don't start guessing yet. If it's before the start, it doesn't count. I'll tell you that right now. So let's see. All right, so we got our number hidden. We're down. So whenever Zach wants to throw a start on the screen, good luck to everyone. One guess. One guess only. And you will get, or my screen is the final, as always. Of course, Zach's going to back me up. So there's your start. Your spread is 50 to 200. 50 to 200 is your spread. One guess, one guess only. Good luck, guys. We'll see where this comes out. And remember, you get to pick any two of those Rough Riders that are on the screen right now. Little high, Savannah Rose. 50 to 200. 50 to 200. If you want to throw another guess in there, we'll get rid of that one because it's too high. 50 to 200. Feel free to go ahead and put another guess in there in the in the 50 to 200. Just in case. <laughs> All right, I've got some good guesses. I think I remember the number I wrote down. It's been a couple minutes ago. I might have forgot already. I think I did forget already. There's some good guesses. No, I think I remember what it was. All right. Oh, we got some good ones. Oh, we got some close ones. Somebody was, somebody might have been reading my mind. I don't know. <laughs> Robert got his guess in. Uh-oh. Are we going to have a showdown tonight? I don't know. Are we going to have a showdown? Remember, closest without going over is the winner. Price is right rules, as always. Yes, hashtag DSKFS. That is very true. Always and forever. All right. Got some close ones. I don't know. We'll see. 
make sure everybody gets their guess in. We haven't had a tickle fight in a while. No, I don't think we had. I don't think we have had a runoff in a while. I don't think so. Maybe three or four weeks ago. I don't remember. Everybody getting their guesses in. Everybody must have got them in quick. I don't see in. I don't see many coming in now. We'll let it run for a little while just to make sure I don't have anybody that might have a little bit of lag going on. It was about four weeks ago. Okay. I can just choose a win. No, we don't do that. The winner is the winner. Whoever gets closest is the winner. So, all right. Well, it looks like everybody might be having their guesses in. I haven't seen anything, any new guesses. So I tell you what, Zach, if you want to let it run for just a little bit longer and then throw, and then throw up a stop, give it, you know, 15, 20 more seconds or whatever, and then go ahead and throw up a stop. That's fine. Oh, there we go. See, we got a couple more guesses in. Good, good. Naked Artifacts got a guess in. Scott got a guess in. Very good. That's why I let it run for a little while, because I want to make sure. Hey, Bionic Bull, what's up? We're doing a giveaway. If you want to get a guess in real quick, guess a number between 50 and 200 before the stop comes up. Uh, Zach's going to be throwing it up anytime. Yeah, get a guess in. 50 to 200. Any number between 50 and 200. One guess. One guess only. But hurry. Come on. Get it in. There it is. Yeah, right on. Bionic Bull got a guess in. All right, Zach. Whenever you're ready, my friend. There it is. Very cool. I think Zach was waiting for you, Bionic Bull. That was very nice of him. Very cool. So... All right, our, it was 50 to 200, and our number was 149, 149. Now, I saw 146. I know I saw that number. I got to scroll back up. Lou was 150. Man, one over. I'm sorry, Lou. Well, your just-in-case was pretty close one minute. Just a little over, but it was close was 146 our winner Ethan did you win two weeks in a row I think you did if you remember last week guys Ethan won the Sage 5 Lightweight Ethan, you're a back-to-back -back winner. I've had that happen before. Wow. Right on. Very cool. <laughs> Everybody's looking at Ethan now. Hey, wait a minute. Well, congratulations, Ethan. Very nice. You've got the lucky number two weeks in a row. So, well, hey, you know what to do, my friend. You did it last week. Shoot me an email, bigrededc at gmail.com, and pick your two favorite Rough Riders out of the batch. Well, I'm glad you're here, Bionic Bull. I'm glad you got a guess in. I'm glad you joined us. I hope you do again in the future. It's great to have you. So, very, very cool. Yes, Ethan, shoot me that email, bigrededc at gmail.com. There's... There it is. Zach's going to throw it up there. Thank you very much. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for another, another, yeah, you should. Go buy a lottery ticket real quick. Uh, thanks a lot for another SKL, guys. You guys are always, always awesome. I greatly, greatly appreciate every single one of you. Um, it's always good talking with you. 
Remember, next week is the first Saturday of the month. It is the, what will it be, the 5th, I think. That's an early show. Early show next week, 2 p.m. Pacific time. 2 p.m. Pacific time. I really hope I don't end up working. That's all I can do is cross my fingers at this point. But thank you so much, guys. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Remember, Zach goes live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Or Sorry, Zach goes live at noon Pacific. Peter and Christine go live at 2 p.m. Pacific. And Justin, our good friend OCD for EDC, goes live at 8 p.m. Central or 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Do me a favor. Monday, Memorial Day, just take a minute. Just take a minute and reflect on those that have served and are no longer with us. That's what Memorial Day is for. Freedom is definitely not free. I wear that on my back every day. Um, Yes, most definitely. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Hope you have a terrific week. Remember, the Civivi Riffle giveaway will be coming out uh, this week. So keep your eyes open for that, as well as some other reviews. So until next Saturday, I hope you all, again, have a great week. And I will see you all here next Saturday, 2 p.m. Pacific time, for another Saturday Knife Live. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.